I just knocked the remote out of Nostalgic Dave's hand. Hi. Hi. Welcome back to a new Hello. episode of the Nostalgia Train. She's still trying to get used um, to where... Doki Doki Literature Club. She's still trying to get used to, like, where to look when it comes to recording stuff. Okay, let's go. So last time we finished all the side stories. We are done with all the side stories. She is on my lap. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's it's too early for that. Never mind. Okay. So we did all the side stories. Now we're finally... Wait, what? There's one more. Um, it, it... Okay. Let's check this out. I did not know about this. Okay, everyone. We're going to be taking a break from the usual activities today. Okay. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what thing do what to do for the festival you know festival, you know. Oh boy! We got ourselves a doozy here. Oh Sayori and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? For the festival? Oh boy. You and Yuri will collect information ahead of time while both clubs and classes are doing food booths. So, the plan is to spy on other clubs. Basically. Cool. <laughs> then we take a map and plan the most easy route so we can get a, most of them before the lines get too long. Actually, that is a pretty good strategy. I'm not going to lie. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. Oh boy. Here we go. Alright, fine. Go ahead. Right. So basically, we were all getting the food we could, and then we came back here and we were all eating together. That's all. Really, that's it? You didn't let me finish. Oh. I just had to word, I had to add the words eat food. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I get tricked twice by the same joke. <laughs> wah, wah. Anybody got a trombone because she just got. Dun, 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 dun. I was gonna say anyone got a trombone because she just got trolled. That's Ew! Don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. No, I wasn't. He does a better Yuri voice than me. Oh, it's just because you're... Uh, the way. The reason I look at it that way is because Yuri's so sophisticated. Meh. I would really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together any time. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a... a quite a while. Quite a while. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, now you're starting to sound like Suey and when he says Hawile. Quile is what I said. Yeah, he says Hawile. Hawile? Yeah, okay. That's what Stewie says. And how Meg says it. <sighs> Family guy person right here. Anyway, besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We really gotta. Uh, showing people what the literature club is all about. This is getting in her way. I'm gonna move yes. it over here. Yes, uh, yes, no, yes. not there. Right there. Uh, no, not there. Right. There we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We can do both, right? We can make time for your food mission and still put together a public affair. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> well, Sayori's excited for food. I was just joking, but that's a really good idea. Everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough because everyone gets something different out of the club. That is true. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. All right. 
right? That could really help us figure out what t kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah! That's too embarrassing! What, Yuri has a crush on someone in the club? Would it surprise anyone after the things no. we've already seen in the side stories? No. It wouldn't surprise me if she kissed Nasty. Or any of them, quite frankly. But you have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. Huh? She has stage fright. And I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe. But I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's the literature club. We can't. We, we, yeah. We talk about that stuff together, right? The only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Actually, that is true. Oh. You're not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. It's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Sayori. Sayori. Just put some cupcakes in your stomach. No, put some cupcakes in your mouth that way you don't That's say what I meant. Shove cupcakes in mouth leads to the stomach here. Well yeah, but if it's in her stomach she can do this. <laughs> That's the point. Put, put it in her mouth so she can't talk. Pink Fox is threatening to bite me. I don't want any Stop bite sticking your fingers in my face. It was right here. See? It's not in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a puppy in my hands. No, you're a fox. No, I'm a There are several reasons why I call you Pink Fox, and we're just going to leave my it ears. at that. Outside of the, you know, the original reason. Right. My bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's going to start? first to join after all. Fair. Uh, wouldn't that be me? No. I want to go first. Oh boy. Fine, fine. You can start. I don't mind. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Alright, child. Sorry. So Okay. It just seemed like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Like if it was just a poem, then I can share without feeling like I'm burdening everyone with my problems. Fair. And I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people, too. I think Fox is oh, very yeah. sleepy. I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just not a she was sleeping. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> you don't remind me of that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much. I wanted to help other people. See, I help other people, too. But it ended up being me who was inspired. Because I remember feeling like... Monica was just so sweet and mature, and then I could trust her with anything. Like your crush on Fox. <laughs> Later on, yeah. It made me feel a lot less alone having someone who would even lean a back in my home. I thought going to a new literature club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped give the club a more cozy. Okay. Yeah, and then Yuri joined, but she was so different from us. And Nasuki, too. I think for Yuri, it, played her, it really helped her take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Nasuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't ready to get really close with someone really quickly. I never really thought about that sort of thing. I feel like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs. Okay, that's good. And that makes me really happy because my friends are just the most important thing to me. 
And whenever new members speak in, I want to introduce you. It helps them in their grief, too. You won't be alone. Wow, dark. I don't honest. know. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Mm hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behavior back then. I was really short sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of person I could be friends with. So when Sayori tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key components of friendship. Sayori and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do, or even thought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that, and I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well... I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who is easily liked by others. Like the two of you, Khan. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else oh also i discovered that sometimes i'm a better communicator when i take the time to write rather than speak it's so strange the way things turn out it's so far different from anything i ever would have expected but i'm happy i suppose we don't always know what we really need so cute that I'm gonna throw up. Ew. <laughs> that makes no What's sense. That? You're so cute, so I'm gonna throw up. How does that sound, babe? <laughs> How does that sound to you? Does it sound good? The, oh, that phrase, it's two different words that never should be put in the same sentence. Cute and throw up? Yeah, or cute and puke, I guess, technically would be two words, but you guys get my point. Those two terms do not belong in the same sentence. Okay, please don't do that, Sayori. Besides, I'm not cute. For Nanatsuki, Sayori, and Monica, you are. Hey, isn't that my line? Oh, well, for me... It's actually true, so... But what are you saying? She's saying that you're cute, dummy! Well, duh. I'm pretty sure she already knows that. She Nothing. I finished my pot, so somebody else take their turn. My heart. Sayori, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you were complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show off! <laughs> Reading that, that's oh, what. Oh my gosh. I was just following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to get over with. Actually, I can understand that. That makes sense. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you get out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favorite Coke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, of course, because why not? Oh no, I forgot <laughs> Well, Sayori, you're a special case, so... You're an exception. 
random number is calling me. I'm gonna leave it alone because oh well. <laughs> if it's not someone I don't know, I usually don't answer it anyway, so meh. You haven't read this yet. Oh. I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. This well, is I'm a traitor to the queen in general. Just kidding. No, you are the queen. Aw, thank you, baby. Neither of you are forgiven. <laughs> Looks like one of Monica. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. Wow. Well, that's me. No! <laughs> I can only imagine Sayori just getting on her knees, just begging, Please! Please have mercy, my queen! Give me all the cupcakes! I will do your bidding for years on end! <laughs> And the only, the only thing Nazi says, To the guns are with you! <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true. Only Yuri can. Hey! No, only Sayori. <laughs> yeah. Realistically, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway... I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess what it comes down to is that I'm in a much better place mentally than I was when I first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realize that I had some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This sounds really familiar. Both of us. Well, I was talking about me, but yeah. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through. Having to cut them out, it still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Nasty. It's fine. I knew it was for the best. I was right. I guess for me, it's all about feelings. I can understand that. I got hiccups suddenly. Great. I forgot to check the thing. Okay. I was just checking time. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was just ignore them. You're getting really tired, aren't you? <sighs> Every time we do cumulative, she always gets tired, I swear to God. <laughs> That's because I got woken up by my mom, even though I love her to pieces. And then I had to drive her to school. Yeah, okay, fair. Anyway, it took me a really long time to realize that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings. Even when I was being, like, the biggest jerk. You are the biggest jerk sometimes. Of the four, yeah. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Yep. Natsuki's voice chokes a little. Yeah, that's where my voice, my acting voice was trailing off to, actually. I love you, Natsuki. Aw. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me. I can never do anything in return. That's not true. What does that sound like? I can think of a couple people, actually. <laughs> he, he looked at me because he was talking about me. Because sometimes I... I do more than I give myself credit for. This club really wouldn't have been the same without you, and I mean that. <laughs> Remember how judgmental I was when you first showed up? Actually, that is a very fair point. I remember that side story. I was like, I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what the literature club was supposed to be. Apparently, that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that anything that makes someone happy is worth res worthy of respect. You inspired me to start 
playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. Hey. So there's no need to put yourself down. Having someone who's played the piano for most of his life, that's that's a feat. That's that's a hard feat to complete. <laughs> no rhyme intended, I just realized I rhymed that. <laughs> okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You help me a lot too, Natsuki. It's so much fun to have you around. You help me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make me needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you, and you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. That's sweet. I don't think any of us would. Sorry I got all dramatic like that. Again. Um, yeah. That's all I wanted to say. So, Monica can go now. There's no need to apologize. There's something I wanted to talk about anyway. It's, it made a big difference for me. Wow. Each of these just kind of went simultaneously side by side. It was always such a strict perfectionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best way for everyone. I mean, Monica, you've always been oh, wrong, that so... Sound like? Oh my gosh, I can think of several people. And I know who you're thinking of. I know who you're thinking who? of. You don't... The three? No. Eh. Then, yeah, several people. Oh, yeah, several people. Anyway! <laughs> our mom are thinking that I was <laughs> getting to solve other people's problems. We got ourselves a problem solver here. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect. Yeah. And that the best thing you can do is help guide people rather than do everything for them. That's something a lot of people don't notice, which... We're all good people. We're all equals. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club. Realizing what that really means. Sayori, what are you doing? Oh, boy. What the hell is Sayori doing? I don't know if I want to know. Do you want to know? Sure. Oh, boy. I just thought... We should be writing some of these things down. Oh. Oh, she's just taking notes. Okay, never mind. I thought she was shoving her face with cupcakes. Like she always does. Yeah, I, I was afraid to see an image of Sayori just with cupcakes splattered everywhere. <laughs> things about the club that are valuable to us. The piece of chalk in her that's hand. Not, Sayori writes that's not Sayori talking. <laughs> nice try, though. I'm, I'm sure Sayori would have loved to say that. With a piece of chalk in her hand, Sayori writes the word trust on the chalkboard. Okay. This is because you showed me that I could trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Suddenly, Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes understanding. Okay, these names, these words are actually sounding familiar. Where these are, are basically the side stories. Yeah, they're each individual one or the name of each side story. I, I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me. Even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. Hmm. In that case, Monica takes a piece of chalk and writes the word respect. Respect. I said respect. I know, I'm intentionally saying that. I always thought I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that it was more than I thought. But I'm a better person now because of it. I have another one! Uh, I forget the name of the last one we did. Oh! Balance! Okay, alright. Sometimes people want different things out of a friendship, or they need time before they're ready to become close. Yeah. That's a, yeah, I can agree it with that. It took us a couple of weeks to become close. Yeah, it didn't take very long for us. 
and then now we're getting married to him. Hmm. I don't make that sound online very often, so don't get used to it. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me. Yuri writes, reflection. I've always been a reflective person. Most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started ref reflecting on other people, not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great. We've got a... Well, <laughs> that's great. We've got a whole list of things now. That you've already covered. Suddenly... Everyone turns to look at Natsuki. Well, everyone took all the chalk, so don't look at me like that. Please! You could have just asked. Monica hands her a piece of chalk. Then, Natsuki sighs and writes, Self-love. Self yeah, that was the name of the last story we read. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but... Feels like things are at least on the right track. Well, that's good. So there's... That's my contribution. Together, everyone stares at the words on the board. I can just imagine what sex is like in fourth grade. Yeah? Wasn't this club... Oh, that's you. <laughs> Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? <laughs> Not anymore, apparently. Now it's psychology. <laughs> apparently, it is. It is! We still do a lot of literature! Friendships, literature! Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Natsuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's all take a picture together. We don't have one right yet, right? I mean, you do, but not, com not cumulatively. Hey, you're right! Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first? No. Or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Okay, Natsuki, now you're hitting on her. <laughs> Everyone get together. I can fit you all in. Okay. Okay, everyone ready? Say cheese! <laughs> Cheeseburgers! And click. There's the snap. Where's the picture? Huh? Well, do <laughs> I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's probably in the photos. Maybe. It's easy to forget how far we've come as with only four members. Yeah. I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm really getting some good inspiration for a poem. Well, that's good. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too! I think I would like that as well. Natsuki? Everyone's looking at me again. Well, since I didn't get to see the picture, I'm doing this. We gotta get some kind of thumbnail of all four of them. Eh. Find something better, I'll do something else. But for right now, we're sticking with that. I'll do it, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. The four members of the literature club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. Sayuri so stretches, then does the same. Yeah, like that. Okay, probably not that long. <laughs> but Monica is left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of where to start. Just move your hand. Oh, right your way into their heart. Monica mouths to herself. Call it! Call it! That's the pen. Oh. No? We haven't. Not, not this, this one. Not this one, hopefully. No, not this one. 
This is completely blind time. So we've read through the visual novel on our own time before. Not the way we're going about it in this playthrough, but we have read it on our own. We did not read the side stories. That was just... Okay, this was just easily predicted for me because of the main song that everybody knows about when it comes to this game. Hi, Monica. Her mind full of thoughts, memories, and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. Doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. She was the last thing to fade away. Why? There you go. That looks like that's the end of all the... Okay, there we go. We're finally at the end of the freaking side stories. That only took forever. I guess we'll experience, you know, the end credits now, since apparently... Did the game want us to do this after or before? This is not the end of the game! How dare you! I don't know. But, yeah, I guess that's the end of the side stories. If you want to rest, you can. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> But, okay, wow. Um, yeah. That, I, I got, I got, I got nothing. Um, this is not the end of the game. This is just the end of all the side stories that were added on. But, definitely interest, an interesting add-on here. I want to hear what's, is it playing the normal song or was it playing? For the side stories didn't have this in. Yeah. Uh, dang. Eh. Unfortunately, none of that is canon, or so was claimed, but I don't know. After reading the emails that we've already read, I'm starting to question whether it actually is. Quality Assurance. That's a lot of QA members. Then again, nowadays that shouldn't be surprising. Localization? Okay. Okay, this 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 song is definitely catchy. I will say that. <laughs> Thank you, dear player, for enjoying our story of friendship and literature. Now go enjoy the dark story of the original. <laughs> Made with love by Team Silvana. I will say this, that. There it is! That's the thing I wanted. That's adorable. <laughs> okay, where are we on time right now? 33 minutes. Um, what's the additional little picture that was given? What was the added picture? Not these. How in the world do I get this one? CGs, maybe? Ah, yep, there it is. Wait, what the? Huh? I, I don't, I don't know how to. Sure. Normal, funny. Normal, funny. Let's go back and forth. That looks totally normal. <laughs> okay, so there's that. There are a lot of secrets to find in this. Kind of concerns me. What is this? Is this supposed to be her dressed up as um, Asuna from Sword Art Online? I don't know. I see this image, and that's the first thing I think of. I don't know. Um. Huh. Interesting. What is the add-on to this? I have no idea. But, yeah. Okay. 
You know what? We got a little bit of time left. I'll go ahead and finish up this part. I want Pink Fox to rest. That, that's why I sent her off. But we'll finish this last little bit. And finally, finish up this route. Uh, I'm assuming it's this one. What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Pink Fox? What's wrong? Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> this poem feels completely different from everything else I wrote. More than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori. So, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. Normally I give her a different voice, but we're, what we're about to see <laughs> doesn't matter. If anybody heard what Pink Fox was saying earlier, you might already know what it is. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs. And what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house? That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? I would think so. In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? Yeah. But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say. Might as well have gotten this. I mean, it's short. It's... Ugh! An exception has occurred. File game slash script ch5. I'm assuming that means chapter five. Dot rpy line 307. See traceback dot text for details. What the hell? What the hell? This is a nightmare. It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Yeah, apparently she would. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. But then, why? Why would she do this? I'd be so helpless. What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I, I, I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her? Make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her. That would have helped, actually. Walked her to school. And remained friends with her. Like it always has been. Actually, that one wouldn't have mattered regardless. 
then I could have prevented this. I know how I could have... I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. Now, I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. Now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Okay, I thought that was going to go a bit longer. I guess it didn't. And my butt! That was really weird. Okay, then blah, blah, yeah, this image. What the hell? I still don't... Well, that's the end of Act 1 and the side stories, I, 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 I think. Wait, what? More music? It's just an endless spree of more and more music. Anything new here? Didn't look like it. Nope, yep, nothing new. These two we've already read. And blah. <sighs> Trace back dot text. Commander Quantum. What does this even do? Uncaught VM runtime exception occurred. So something that wasn't supposed to happen happened. Exception. Oh geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I could probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Well. That's not good. Yeah. Her file is gone. I wonder what happens if you try to read one of these with her file gone. Let's go through it really quick to find out and see if it's just broken. What happens? I do wonder. I do wonder what happens when you read these and she's not there. Because her file is purebred gone. She should not be able to be in these. So I wonder. Okay. Monica. Come on. Let me see if Sayori... Can I please see if Sayori is still in the... That's what I'm wondering. In the main game... Yeah, you try to implement her, she's... No, she's not there. Here we go. We're about to find out. Okay, so this... It, that deletion is not implemented in this. Interesting. Hmm, interesting. So that's not implemented. Just in the main story. So with that said, we have done all the side stories then. I hope. Oh, I, there better not be another one. Oops. Oops. I did not mean to enter that. We're going to pretend we didn't see that. Okay. What the hell? Um... Good 
Having run the control simulation for a while, it's evident that a certain character is missing from any mention or appearance. This makes me speculate that Monica's meddling is less clumsy than we think. Because she would have had to manufacture this character herself as a way of forcing interaction between her and the user. Could that be why the character has such limited and diso di dissonant personality traits? Or am I reading too much into this? I'll open an issue to start tracking info and, obs and observations on the anomaly of this character appearing. Well, for those who didn't know, yeah, Monica's the reason that happened. Anyway, we've looked at enough here. We will start Act 2 of Doki Doki Literature Club's main story next time. Hopefully, we're, we'll, we'll check back every now and then for, like, mail and stuff like that, see what happens. But we will continue the story, and we should, by the time we reach the end of the game, at this point, because we've gone through each character before hitting the end of Act 1, we should get a better ending. Unless something's changed in this that I haven't seen yet. Anyway, going to leave this video here. Um, I think Fox seems focused on her phone, but try to shout goodbye at least. Bye! I hope you heard that. Uh... If you guys want to check out any other stops that this train has taken, as far as visual novels go, click the link in the bottom right corner of the train to take you to that destination. Um, these stops are before the train actually existed, so it was literally just me kind of reading stuff, I guess. But if you want to check that out, why not click down there? Uh, want to check any of the stops that we you might have missed on this right so far? Click the link across from my head here, and the train will take you there. But this train needs to head off to its next destination. Thanks for joining us on this ride, guys, and we hope to catch all of you in another one. See you guys later.